If you make a mistake, use the solid back arrow to correct it. Press once or press and hold to delete the entire entry. Turn the knob to scroll through a list of cities. Select the correct one by pressing the knob. Now select street and begin spelling the name of the street. Then select the correct one from the list. Select number slash intersection. Select house number and key in the number. Then select enter or select intersection. And choose the correct intersection from the list. You may specify your route preference either at the beginning of the trip or partway through the journey. You will be able to choose via highway, avoid highway, fastest route, or shortest route, and avoid tolls. If you do not know the exact address but could point to it on a map, keep turning the control knob counterclockwise until you see Map, then press. A map will appear. Press the knob to bring up a menu and select Destination Input Map. Turn the knob until the scale is highlighted and press. Now turn the knob to adjust the scale to include your destination and press to confirm. A new map will be generated. Turn the knob to highlight one of the directional arrows. Hold in the knob to shift the map in the direction you have chosen. Release the knob. Select the scale and reduce the scale to zoom in on your destination. If necessary, use the other directional arrows and shift the map until your destination appears under the crosshairs in the center of the map. For street names to appear, you must select a scale of one-half mile or less. When you have selected a scale of one-half mile or less, select Save Destination from the menu. Verify the destination as it appears on the display and press for directions. On the Input Destination menu, turn the knob counterclockwise until you reach Last Destinations to see a list of destinations you have entered into the system. To retrieve an address, select Retrieve Address. Highlight the one you want and press. Then select Directions if you wish to begin your journey. In 200 feet, turn right. To delete an item, select Delete Address. Highlight the one you wish to delete and press the knob. Press again at the prompt. If you stop the vehicle before reaching your destination, the display will ask, Continue guiding the next time you start the vehicle. Choose yes or no. As soon as you enter a digitized road, your directions will appear. When you select a split-screen option, the estimated time of arrival and the distance to your destination appear in the lower right of the display. A route map appears on the left side of the display and a turn-by-turn -turn display on the right. On the upper right of the map, you will see an arrow pointing in the direction of your destination. When you're on a digitized road, the display will show the upcoming road configuration, such as a turn or an exit ramp. Right above the graphic, you'll see the distance to your next turn. The name of the roadway you'll be turning onto will be displayed as you approach the turn. At the bottom is the name of the road you're currently on. In 800 feet, turn right. Turn or press the knob for the menu, which will remain up briefly and can be generated later by turning or pressing the knob again. Input destination is used for changing the information you have already given the computer.
If you turn the knob clockwise, Terminate Guidance will appear. Press the knob to select. If you choose Instruction, you'll hear the most recent direction repeated, or you'll receive the next instruction if it's within one quarter of a mile. At the end of the road, turn right. If you wish to mute the voice, press and hold the control knob. Touch the knob again to reactivate the voice. You can also make other selections from this menu. If you have selected the full screen display mode, select Route Map from the menu to see your route on a map. In a few moments, a map will appear. The distance to your destination and the distance to the next turn will appear in the upper right. Your vehicle location will be indicated by a blue triangle in a circle, your route as a white line, and your destination as a white target symbol. To alter the scale, turn the knob to adjust the scale. Street names will appear on maps with a scale of one half mile or less. The top of the map is usually north, but when the scale is one half mile or less, you may position the map in the direction the vehicle is traveling. Touch the knob to reveal the menu. And select Map Positioning. Then choose Travel Direction. Select the back arrow if you wish to change from the map display to the turn-by-turn -turn display. If you encounter a traffic jam or construction, you may select New Route and request a new route for up to 10 miles. Anytime New Route turns gray, it is in calculation mode. Please allow the system to calculate your new route before making any more menu choices. Once the system has finished calculating, new route will turn white. You may store your current position in the address book, for example, before you leave on your journey. On the input destination menu, keep turning the knob counterclockwise until you reach address book. Then press to select. Now select Memorize Vehicle Position. Spell a name for the location if desired. Highlight Enter and press. To include frequently used destinations in the address book, select Enter Address and enter the street city, and name of the location using the method explained in the destination input section of this program. Highlight Enter and Press. When finished, highlight Enter and Press in order to store the entry in the address book. To retrieve an address from the address book, select Retrieve Address, highlight the one you want, and press. Then select Directions if you wish to begin your journey. However, the BMW onboard navigation system can only provide directions to addresses that are available on the map DVD being used. To delete an item from the address book, select Delete Address, highlight the one you wish to delete, and press the knob. Press again at the prompt. To determine your current location, on the Input Destination menu, keep turning the knob counterclockwise until you reach Map and press to select. Touch the knob to reveal the menu and select Destination Input Map. Select Position and your current position is indicated by the crosshairs on the map. On the Input Destination menu, keep turning the knob counterclockwise until you reach Information and press to select. For an extraordinary source of information, select Info on Destination. Choose a category and either use the alphanumeric display to spell the name or scroll through the listing.
Info on location also provides helpful information. Choose a category. And in moments, the nearest locations will appear in ascending order of distance from your current position. Select one. Now press the knob to reveal the menu. Select Activate if you'd like the BMW onboard navigation system to guide you to this destination and select Directions. All points of interest that you select, such as gas stations, restaurants and banks, will be represented by icons on the route map when the scale is 2.5 miles or less. Other useful features in the information menu include info on country, route list, and input position. Route list allows you to preview the segments in the route calculated by the system. Input position is only used to correct your position if required after the vehicle has been shipped from one location to another. To adjust the volume, first ensure that the radio volume is at an ideal level. Then, with the radio on or off, press the menu button and select settings. followed by Navigation Volume on the Settings menu. Press the control knob to activate and turn the knob to adjust the volume. Listen to the voice. Softer. Softer. Louder. To find the right level. Then press to confirm. To turn the monitor off, press the menu button and select Monitor Off. You will still be able to hear the instructions provided by the BMW onboard navigation system. You may turn on the monitor again by pressing the menu button or the rotary knob. When help is needed, select Emergency on the menu or telephone display. The longitude and latitude coordinates for your exact location will appear, along with your current street location if you are on a digitized road. Select Emergency again for Police, Fire, Accident, or Medical Help, or Assist for BMW Roadside Assistance. Your vehicle's vehicle identification number and your current position will be transmitted to the BMW Emergency Call Roadside Assistance Service Center. Voice contact will be established to determine your safety and the type of emergency. If your vehicle is equipped with the optional BMW navigation system, it is important to make an acquaintance call to the BMW Service Center soon after delivery in order to create a confidential consumer profile containing vital information that will be required in an emergency. To activate the telephone using the onboard monitor, press the menu button and select Telephone. To dial a non-stored number, use the knob to select the digits in the number you wish to dial, pressing after each selection to confirm. Use the back arrow to make a correction. Press once to erase the last digit or hold to erase the entire number. Once you have entered the number, select the phone symbol on the display or press the call button on the steering wheel or the phone button next to the monitor. You may also look up a number in your personal directory. Select top eight for the eight most frequently dialed numbers. Or select last dialed to see the ten most recently dialed numbers. Info will display the signal strength and call duration. To derive information from the onboard computer, begin by pressing the menu button, then select Onboard Computer. Your expected arrival time will be calculated automatically based on current driving conditions. 
With the range function, you can tell approximately how far the vehicle can be driven on the fuel remaining in the tank. To calculate your average speed, select Average Speed. To begin a new calculation, press the knob and select Recalculate. To calculate your average fuel consumption, select either Consumption 1 or 2. Choose Recalculate to begin a new calculation. To input a speed limit warning, make sure the ignition key is turned to position 1 or 2. Select Limit, followed by the circle. Turn the knob to specify the speed. Then press to activate. To turn off limit, select Limit and choose Switch Off. Then select the return symbol. Limit will remain in memory, but will not be activated until you choose Switch On again. To switch on the radio, push in the radio knob. The orange indicator will be illuminated. When the radio is on, press the transfer button when you wish to switch between the onboard navigation system display and the audio system display. Press the mode button to switch between radio, tape, and CD changer if installed. Press FM or AM to access 6AM1 or 6FM1 stations. Press again to access 6AM Auto Store or 6FM2 stations. Press FM again for 6FM Auto Store stations. To automatically capture up to six of the strongest local AM and FM stations, such as when you're on a long distance trip, select either AM or FM. Continue to hold the key down until Auto Store appears in the display. When the sound returns, the Auto Store function is complete. To store your favorite stations, press and hold one of the numbered preset buttons until the sound returns. To automatically search for the next station, press the arrow switch on the radio panel or steering wheel in either direction. Press the select button once to reveal a further range of search functions. M allows you to search for a station manually. Press the control knob to choose M, then press the arrow switch or use the rotary knob until you reach the station you desire. Scan allows you to sample stations. Press the arrow switch to begin. Then press select again when you find a station that you like. Then either press the select button or turn the knob to move to the next setting. Select search sensitive to scan all radio stations. Tap the arrow switch to search. Search non-sensitive allows you to sample stations with strong broadcast signals. To activate the radio data broadcasting, press the Info key. Use the control knob to select RDS. Press to confirm. Now, whenever you tune in an RDS station, its name will be displayed automatically. If you select PTY and press to confirm, the program type will appear briefly. Press the Tone button to access the Bass, Treble, Fader, and Balance. Press the Control knob to select one. Alter each setting by pressing the arrow switch or turning the Control knob. Press to confirm. Then, either press Tone again or turn the knob to move to the next setting. If you prefer all settings to be in the center position, press Tone and hold until all settings have moved to the center position on the display. On models with a cassette player, press the eject button to reveal the cassette player.
press the mode button to switch between tape and the radio or an optional CD changer. Press the arrow switch on the radio panel or steering wheel to search tracks. Press and hold to fast forward or rewind. The small arrow button allows you to switch from one side of a tape to the other. Audio and telephone. All audio systems and cellular telephones for your new 3 Series were tested in BMW's Electromagnetic Compatibility Test Chamber to ensure they function reliably in conjunction with other electronic systems. To turn on or off the radio, push in the volume control knob. Press FM or AM to access 6 FM1 or 6 AM1 stations. Press again to access 6 FM2 stations or 6 AM Auto Store stations. Press FM again for 6 FM Auto Store stations. To automatically capture up to 6 of the strongest local AM and FM stations, such as when you're on a long distance trip, press either AM or FM and continue to hold the key down until Auto Store appears in the display. When the sound returns, the auto store function is complete. To store your favorite stations, press and hold one of the numbered preset buttons until the sound returns. To automatically search for the next station, press the arrow switches in either direction, or use the arrow buttons on the multifunction steering wheel. To search manually for a station, press the M button. Then press the arrow switches to move up and down the band. To scan each station briefly, press the scan button. And if you find one you like, press scan again. Your BMW radio is equipped to display FM station names and program types where available. To activate the radio data broadcasting, press the RDS key. Now, whenever you tune into an RDS station, its name will be displayed automatically. When you press PTY, the program type will appear briefly. Hold down the key until you see PTY Auto if you'd like the program type to be displayed briefly every time you select an FM station. To cancel the automatic display, hold down the key until you see PTY Man. To adjust the bass, treble, fader, and balance, begin by pressing the tone button, represented by the note symbol. The range and current setting will be shown in the display. Now modify the setting using the plus and minus switches. Press the tone button again to move on to the next setting. Press and hold this button for more than two seconds for mid-range settings. Flat will appear in the display. On models with a cassette player, press tape to switch between the radio and the tape player. No tape means the slot is empty. When you insert a cassette, the side appears in the display. Use the arrow switches to search automatically for tracks. Hold down the switch or press twice rapidly to fast forward or rewind. Press the Dolby selector to match the recording you are playing, either B or C. Press the button with the small arrows to switch sides. On models with an in-dash CD player, press CD to switch between the radio and the CD player. No disc means the slot is empty. Insert the disc with the label facing up. When the CD is playing, the track number appears in the display. Touch either arrow switch to search. Press M and hold down either arrow switch to fast forward or reverse. Press Scan to scan tracks, and press again when you have reached the desired track. Press the RND button to play tracks at random, and press again to stop random play. 
A selection of BMW cellular telephones is available from your BMW center, including portable models integrated into the audio system display and the multifunction steering wheel. The audio system will mute automatically when you're on a call. Please see your BMW center for further information. Safety first. The 3 Series incorporates BMW's unique systematic approach to safety, fully integrated road safety technology. The same features that make your new vehicle so much fun to drive also contribute to driving safety. Handling, control, and stability are outstanding. Suspensions, steering, and tires work together as a team. The unique BMW cockpit is designed for quick reflexive action and controls are right where you naturally expect them to be. High performance engines provide responsive acceleration and the large brakes on your BMW are engineered for effective braking at high speeds. In critical cornering or evasive maneuvers, dynamic stability control can adjust power and braking to individual wheels to enhance stability. This flashing light in the instrument cluster indicates that the system has detected a potential loss of cornering grip and is working to help stabilize the vehicle. In exceptional circumstances, such as deep snow, you can deactivate the systems that enhance traction under normal conditions. Push and release the DSC switch on the console. This turns off DSC and activates dynamic traction control. To remind you that DSC has been turned off, this light will glow steadily. Press again to restore DSC. To fully turn off DSC and dynamic traction control, press and hold the DSC button for at least three seconds. DSC will be reactivated the next time you press the button or the next time the vehicle is started. On vehicles equipped with hill descent control, the system can help you maintain a slow speed on steep descents. Press the HDC button. The system will activate below 22 miles per hour, and the green light in the button will flash to indicate that the system is operating. You may set the cruise control to between 3 and 15 miles per hour, and you may accelerate or brake at any time. To turn off HDC, Press the HDC button again or accelerate beyond approximately 35 miles per hour. Optional park distance control employs ultrasonic sensors in the rear bumper to warn you of the distance between your BMW and other objects to help make parking in tight spaces easier and safer. This system automatically turns itself on when reverse gear is selected. Your new vehicle has advanced restraint systems, including the BMW Head Protection System, the first of its kind designed to help protect the head in severe side impacts. There are smart front airbags designed to deploy at different rates of force depending on the severity of the impact and whether safety belts are in use. There are standard front side airbags. In a severe crash, the BMW impact sensor unlocks any doors that have been locked with the inside central lock button and turns on the interior lights and hazard flashers. The outside temperature is displayed on the instrument cluster and a warning chime will sound if the temperature dips to approximately 37 degrees, warning you of potentially slippery road surfaces. The height of the driver's and front passenger's safety belt can be adjusted for added safety. Simply pinch together the top and bottom portions, then slide the anchor up or down. In the convertible, adjusting the height of the headrest automatically modifies the height of the safety belt.